The first weakness, the U.S. military's dependence on satellites. If hostilities broke out, experts say China could take out dozens of American reconnaissance or communication satellites within hours. Then... We simply couldn't function. You couldn't get uh, data through. You couldn't get voice communications. You couldn't get any kind of telecommunications. You couldn't see the battle space. The second weakness, vulnerability. Experts say many American GPS satellites, which guide smart weapons and troop movements, are more than a thousand miles into space, mostly out of range of China's ballistic missiles. But the reconnaissance satellites, which take pictures of the targets for those bombs, missiles, and soldiers, are sitting ducks. Our imagery intelligence satellites are in orbit only a few hundred miles up, the same altitude as the target satellite the Chinese shot down. And experts tell us the reconnaissance satellites the U.S. military does have are too big about the size of a city bus, easy targets. They say efforts are underway to make them smaller and to equip satellites with stealth technology. How can the U.S. go on the offensive? Like China, experts say the U.S. can jam satellites by throwing noise at them and can hit them with ballistic missiles. Ground-based lasers have also been tested. And an analyst with Jane's Defense Weekly believes U.S. military planners are at least thinking of developing satellites with attack capability. How could one of these orbiters blast another from space? It can dock with it and damage it in some way, or it can obliterate it by shooting pellets or some kind of munition. But that creates its own dangers. Scientists are already warning that satellite China just destroyed could have broken into about 40,000 pieces, which can travel at high speed through orbit for as long as a decade and can damage several other satellites. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.